Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial with me. I'm Jeff, otherwise known as Akila or Jelana, sometimes Ilyana, it, it really depends where you know me from. So this Photoshop tutorial will show you how to change the color of this lovely collar here. There are two ways to do that. One way will work in Photoshop only or other programs that have adjustment layers and um, those that don't have adjustment layers will get a part in this tutorial later and that is why I have two groups here one is layer work that is what we do in Photoshop the other way is the alternative work that we do in other programs first I show you the Photoshop way which is the way that I use all the time it is a non-destructive way to change the color and we work with this little button down here that shows you layer attributes and we work with three um, saturation so first we click here that opens a new layer here and a window up here um, first we want to make sure that this hue and saturation this color change only works on the uniform that is why we do a clipping mask here we did that last time remember so either you hold on Alt and go between these here and click or you go right click and create clipping mask that click clips I'm sorry that clips the layer automatically to the layer below so now what we want to do is change the color of the collar so we go to the view button up here and depending on which department this young fashion guy is working in we are doing little bit of change here going to the right and to the left to see which color we want so we want him in medical so I'm going to make it a little bit teal what you see now is it also changed the gray here and the communicator color um, depending on the quality of your picture it either changes the gray parts because there are other particles of colors in there or it will ignore the gray part that is when there's only gray white and black in it so in this case we see there has been other colors in it so we want to make sure that only the color has the teal color and we do that with the same trick we used for erasing backgrounds the mask so we take a brush here make it a little bit bigger uh, not digger <laughs> bigger and remember that black shows and white hides we make sure no other way black hides and white shows I'm so sorry um, we want to make sure to click the white box here which is the mask then we paint on it with black that erases all the color we do not want same goes for the tri um, badge here not the tri Today is not the day you want to ask me what different words are. So we go around here, make sure that we mask all the stuff that should not be changed in color. And that's it. Now we have a color here. When we disable this hue and saturation layer, the you see the red is still underneath so you can double click on this little icon here and change the color anytime you want so let's keep it in teal we can also make it a little bit darker if we want to yeah I think I like that we could take a little bit of color out of it or add it in if you wanted to really saturate it I keep it down here so this is the way in Photoshop it is very easy it is non-destructive and <coughs> it goes as you see within segments you can do this for every part you like you can make it on the face on the eyes on the hair anywhere now let's disable this part go back to this in the alternative this is the way we are going to do this in case you don't have Photoshop now first we go to the layer with the uniform here and want to duplicate that either you right click and oh not on the picture on the right in here right click and duplicate layer 
or you could also just drag it down here to the new layer thing that you only need once. So first we go on the upper layer. This will be the layer with the color color. So we go to image adjustment desaturation. Now the difference to uh, this one to the attribute for the layer is this one works directly on the layer not on um, attribute layer above it. So once you change the color and click OK it's changed. So no turn it back. That is destructive work here. So first we are going to change the color going to teal as well because we like it so much. So again you see the colors get changed. Now um, when we pretend that we do not have Photoshop that means we do not have the layer mask here. So I just right click and apply the layer mask <coughs> so we have no layer mask in the way here. So first we disable the layer below so we see exactly what we're doing and take our eraser. I really, really don't like this part because I don't like working with the eraser but in this case we need to. So we are going to erase everything in this layer that we do not want to have changed. So just a little rough erasing here. Remember that we cut out the chest part and everything. Now we make this a little bit smaller. Then I go to the brushes and go to the spacing again so we don't have any spacing between the dots of the brush of the eraser. So we go along the edge here nice and carefully. It can happen that you leave a couple of pixels behind of the gray but that will be okay. You can fix it later if it is a problem. So once we deleted everything but the color we turn this back on and <coughs> now we go to the la layer beneath because we see here that the line around the neck becomes harsher and thicker because the one from the lower layer withdrew so we are going to delete this line here to make sure it's not too thick. So and this is the way we do it outside of Photoshop. We have our gray uniform here, we have our teal color on a new layer. So basically you could go here, back to adjustment, use saturation and give it a new color if you want to. We don't want to, I want to keep the teal one. Now this was a really flashy and quick tutorial for this part. The rest like the rank insignia, the background, a little bit of fine tuning like the shadow around the neck part and so on. We will do in the next tutorial which will be the last of the series. So stay tuned, hope this helps someone out there and stay creative. Bye!